So at Nottingham we have a change programme called Better For You. Uh, we've been running it now for, uh, for uh, seven years and the, the focus of that is through delivering change uh, bottom up and through the, um, the experience, the enthusiasm, the great skills of our staff. Um, it's multi-layered, there's no single approach within there. Um, so on one layer it is a fully bottom up engaged, please come up with any ideas, we want to support you to try those things out. We have a programme called our Just Do It programme, which encourages people to do that. Just do it. See something you think uh, you can change and, and please have a go at doing so. We also um, look to skill up staff and create uh, environments uh, where they can come together and problem solve and be innovative. Um, so we have some change hubs across the organisation and that gives uh, people to take it almost from the just do it phase to a slightly bigger approach to a bigger topic, something that might take a little bit more engagement of a, a broader group of people or a little bit uh, more thinking to, to crack a bigger topic. The Trust as a whole introduced a transformation programme called Better For You and part of the ethos of Better For You was that there was a hub for each project which would become the focus of the project. The Children's Hospital management team were early adopters of the Better View project and identified a, a really valuable space, so gave up a seminar room, which is really prized real estate in any hospital. The Children's Better For You hub is the heart of our children's hospital. It's a place where lots of people can drop in. There's an open door policy. And what that, that means is that people walking by um, can have their say about what goes on in the children's hospital. Primarily the hub is somewhere that staff come to, but patients do drop in and talk to us as well. But obviously the, the end result of any of the work that we do is always about making it better for, for our patients. There's often with people who've worked in the NHS for a long time, um, people, people get a bit cynical about projects that come along and see them as being something short term. It's just going to be a bit of a pain for a while and then it'll all go back to normal. And I think there was that normal cynicism about the Better View project when it first started. Um, but the, the management team of the Children's Hospital always saw it as being something that was here for the long term. It wasn't just a six month project, it was a, a long term change of how we do things in the Children's Hospital. And over time, those cynics have very often come in and said to us, it's different, this is different from how it's been before. It feels like the change comes from the bottom up. It's not about people telling us what to do, it's about us being able to influence the change. We've seen a number of impacts as a result of the approach that we've had at NUH. Um, some which are very clearly measurable and some which are slightly less tangible, but you can really feel throughout the organisation. Um, from a from a metrics perspective, we can show uh, where um, there have been quality improvements, where there have been reductions in waiting times, where there have been reports in improved patient experience, where there have been additional savings identified. And one of the most marked improvements that we've seen during the journey of this improvement programme, uh, when we started it, we were in some of the lower quartiles in the staff reported surveys for the ability to engage uh, at work and being able to contribute at work and be able to come up with ideas at work and over the years that we've progressed the program we've moved from the, the, the lowest quartile to the top quartile and all of those uh, staff improvement reported metrics. We've also more recently focused on what it's like working in the children's hospital for our staff because we know that if we get it right for our staff that will enable them to get it right for patients. As a children's hospital we want to engage staff working here so that people want to work here, they want to encourage others to come and and work here and that they're happy in their work. That improves sickness rates for one thing and it also means that they're more likely to convey that message to the people they work with on a day by day basis, the patients and their parents and carers, so that it improves the atmosphere. I think what's crucial within this is the role of, of leadership um, and leadership uh, at all levels, again non-hierarchically, um, but senior managers particularly uh, do have a huge responsibility to support colleagues to have the permission, um, the true permission and the ability to try things out, make it different and also take balanced risks and not be fearful if what is anticipated will happen doesn't happen perfectly first time because that's part of the learning process and it's only through trying things differently we will learn what will subsequently work and then be able to build on that in future. Mm -hmm.